For over 5 million years, the spiny crayfish has lived in the streams that cascade Mount Lewis, where they have remained trapped, unable to leave the summit of the mountain. Situated in the World Heritage Wet Tropics area of far north Queensland is Mount Lewis. It is over 1200 metres high and can be reached with a short drive through the clouds. This is where you'll find the continuous streams of cold mountain water. The home of the Mount Lewis spiny crayfish. They spend most of their time in the water, hiding underneath the rocks only rarely venturing out from these depths. And if you're lucky enough, you might find one travelling between streams. But don't get too close. These crayfish can be feisty. They are prey for a number of rainforest predators. And only one in a thousand will make it to adulthood. The only other aquatic creature that shares their habitat are tadpoles. Life's pretty easy up here in the mountains, but it had me thinking. In such an isolated environment, how did the spiny crayfish get here? With a quick research, I discovered they are one of over 50 spiny crayfish known as the Oasticus, which can be found along the entire east coast of Australia. Interestingly, the various Euasticus species are unique to their specific mountain. For example, the Blue Mountains in northern New South Wales are home to the giant spiny crayfish, one of the world's largest. I was very curious about this. Why are there so many crayfish living on mountains? I was surprised to see the Mount Lewis cray when I visited, but I didn't realise so many more types existed. I'll be honest, I went down a rabbit hole trying to find the answer. I discovered two main theories exist. One idea is they spread from south to north, like stepping stones, with each crayfish population gradually moving north. As they stopped at different mountains, they evolved into separate populations of unique species. The other idea is there was a single event that separated a common ancestor into different species. Further research revealed that genetically, the crayfish across all the different mountains are actually very similar. Of course, this suggests they are linked by a common ancestor, and it's understood that climate change was causative of the separation, particularly an increasing global temperature. Recall at the beginning of this video, when I discussed that the atmosphere and water of Mount Lewis was very cold. I learnt this is the ideal environment for Euasticus. So it's likely that when global temperatures increased 5 million years ago, this common ancestor crayfish climbed the nearby mountains, like Mount Lewis and the Blue Mountains, where they've continued to live ever since. So the differences in the crayfish that we see today are therefore because of the unique environments each ancestor population were restricted to. The Blue Mountains is an entirely different environment to that of Mount Lewis, which is why we see differences between the two species. And I just find this to be so fascinating, and I am amazed to see the Mount Lewis spiny crayfish as a product of evolution.